two, three, four. Oh. Ah! <laughs> 
Another nice sunny day on planet Earth, don't you think, hamster? Hamster? Don't you think? Hamster? Don't you think? Hamster? be our new healthy living promotion. Oh, no, 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 they've not been bought. They've been eaten. Eaten? Then it must be the runaway hamster. Oh, oh, potholes everywhere. Oh, but these aren't any old potholes. No. No. These are hamster potholes. Oh. Yeah, it's made by a mad runaway escaped hamster. Oh. 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 Madam, there seems to be a problem with your afternoon tea. What sort of problem, Gerald? Well, the power's out, madam. The power's out? What caused it, Gerald? They're saying it's that rabid, mad, crazy, escaped, runaway hamster, madam. Oh, chimney cricket, Gerald. Ooh. What's happening, Captain? You've heard of bird strikes, Andy? Oh, yeah, I think so. When birds fly into the engine, Captain. Yes. Well, what we're dealing with here, Sandy, is hamster strike. Oh, hamster strike, Captain. Yes, by the worst kind of hamster. By a scary, red-eyed, <laughs> rabid, <laughs> bad, crazy, escape, runaway hamster. Let. Oh. Where's my hamster? Oh. I don't know, your mayorship. I'm not your assistant. It must be that scary, red-eyed, rabbit, crazy, mad-escaped, runaway hamster everyone's talking about. Call a Trident meeting. Call a NATO meeting. Call the Justice League. We can't do that, Mr. Mayor. We're just the City Council of Peaceborough. You have no ambition, Sally. You leave me no choice. Good evening, she's Martina. And she's Janet. Don't bring me into this. You're watching the news from nowhere. Bring the news to people who aren't in the news. Top stories tonight. Dong! Top scientists discover that broccoli is not, in fact, little trees. Dong! Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious backwards is docious aliexpiistic fragicali rupus. Dong! And Martina hasn't done the washing up in three days and is this close to getting a divorce. Two days. Three. Two. Three. More on that story later. In other news, reports of chaos this morning in Peterborough have caused the mayor to call an emergency council meeting. Sounds dramatic, Janet. Our guest in the studio this evening is marriage councillor Colin. Colin, why do Janet and I hate each other so much? <laughs> right, everybody sit down. Thank you for coming to the first summit of the Organisation for the Destruction of Escaped Nasty Things. Odin. Oh, it's a shame there's not an R in there, then it would be Rodin. 
Good point. Sally? I'm not your assistant. Sally! Fine. You all know why I've called you here today. The topic which is on the tip of everybody's tongue. Fly tipping. Joggers. Bad parking. Rambunctious organisation. No, no, no. And Sally, no. Habstools. I have an evil, I mean, grand plan. Eat the hamsters. Get them to remove the fly tipping. Name a car park after it. Rotund. Rotund organisation. Shut up, all of you! We're going to get rid of pets. <coughs> Once and for all. Do you mean pests? No, Councillor Steve. I mean pets. <coughs> Sally. The slap. I'm not your assistant. Sally! I'm fed up of cats and domestic bats. Getting rid of fish is my greatest wish. Cute little mice. Birds of paradise. I want them all gone. Pets are all wrong. And whilst we are sitting, get rid of fly tip. Sharon! It's a big issue. <laughs> We're going to ban all pets from Peterborough. So go on, get going, and make sure you're Sarah. You may be able to handle angry cats, or miffed fish, but there's only one person who can handle your cripplingly chaotic Deviously, dastardly, and downright dirty furry problem. Oh, I have a doctor for that. We'll clear it up. No questions asked. My no, uncle that's, that's had not a what I mean. Though I will take that number. But what I'm talking about, Mr. Mayor, is your hamster problem. Who are you? Leslie. And your surname? You don't need to know my surname. I do. To put it on the payroll. No, that is my surname. Well, you don't need to know my surname is your surname. Yes, it's Dutch. And I am the hamster catcher. As soon as I got the chance, I went to hamster catching school. Well, it was more like general pest control, but I couldn't follow the rules. They threatened to expel me, so I put my head down. King top of the class, what can I say? I ain't no clown. But now out there in the field, I can finally show my tricks. And that's how I became Peter's top maverick and best. Have to catch it coming at you, got a job to do. Cause when it comes to hamsters, you can't hide. I'm coming for you. I'm catching hamsters all day long, plus a little break to sing this song. You think that you can stop me, then I say, you better get out of my Right-o! And how soon can you get rid of this hamster for me? Give me three days! But you should know, my methods have been called unorthodox, unethical, and even unbelievable to a logical plot line. But I can promise results! No way to stop me, you can't drop me, I always come out on top! Can't run from me, can't hide from me, your trail I'll never drop! It may be an obsession, but here is a lesson in getting the job well done! At the end of the day, I always say that I'm the one who won Cause I'm the hamster catch, you're coming and you got a job to do When it comes to hamsters, I'm the master coming for you I'll get the job and you will see The Pied Piper ain't got nothing on me You think that you can stop me, then I say You better get out of my Hamster La Vista, baby. Oh, I've got it. Ridiculous organisation for the... Yeah, they've gone. Okay. Hey, up. I come from Fassett Fen. That's just down the road from Peterborough. Now, listen, I've heard that Peterborough started eating hamsters. 
What? God blimey, they're miles behind the times, mate. Listen, we've been eating hamsters in Fassin Fen for years and years and years, for as long as I can remember. We used to eat them when I was a boy. Good afternoon, this is breaking news from Peterborough. We have just in recent reports of a hamster causing mayhem in Queensgate and stealing people shopping. The world's gone crazy over like this little ginger tyrannical monster. Trump? Ed Sheeran. The hamster. The hamster. I shouldn't say a word about the hamster. I got myself in this very bunker. I don't know how long I've been down here, but I'm not leaving until the hamster leaves. Hamster come. All his cabbages, cucumbers, courgettes, all the seas broke into his greenhouse as well. It was padlocked, how's that? And it broke his rake. That was Boris. That was you. Yeah. It says here the hamsters produce 200 litres of methane every single day. We've got a, a special uh, hamster cutting club. There's lots of us, we go out in the fence every day with our little nets. And it broke his arm. That was you. Between us, we catch hundreds of these hamsters, hundreds of them. And me and the missus, we got this special frying machine. And every Friday night, we go out in our van to the villages, and they all come running out, the locals, uh, to have a, either an hamster hot dog, or they can have an hamster burger, which is, of course they can have them with onions or not onions, whichever they prefer. Makes them the biggest single contributor to global warming. He took his little sister out for a drink. He don't know when to stop. You can have, you can make Friday night your hamster night, eh? This is the end, people. This is the end. Meanwhile, thank you, marriage counsellor Colin, for coming in and just sitting there and nodding while we argue. It really made me feel a lot better. Oh, is that breaking news, Jan? No, just that ear infection. Still quite painful. Bummer. Oh. But now we do have breaking news coming out of Peterborough that the mayor has announced a special press conference for this afternoon. Janet, our coverage of this news is being broadcast live across the UK. We're on in Cumbria. They can see us in Kent. We're live in Thanet, Janet. I see what you did there, Martina. In other news, I've just downloaded Tinder and things are looking good. What? Hello, yes. Thank you, everyone, for coming. Sally, the map. There have been no less than 73 capster related chaotic events in the past 24 hours. Thank you, Sally. From this moment on, all pets shall be banned in the city of Peterborough. I will not expose Peterborians to the possibility of fists of fugitive fish, crass, criminal chinchillas, or evil ephemeral eels any longer. To celebrate, when I press this button, all mention of the word pet shall be eradicated from all the signs in the city. Pets at home? Yes. Pet supplies? Yeah, absolutely. Car pet, right? Yes, I suppose so. Peterborough. What? The, the Peterborough sign. Our city has the word pet in it, Mr. Mayor. Sally? Yes, Your Majesty. When I press this button, does that mean I will blow up part of the Peterborough sign? I expect so, Your Majesty. You did say all mention of the word pets. Did I? Right! Yes, uh, yes! Hey! Uh, 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 three! Two! One! Um, 
You have to actually press the button. Yes, thank you, Sammy, thank you. Hello and welcome to the news. News flash, we're hearing distressing news about a hamster Bonjour who's devastated the city of Peterborough. Good day, welcome to the news. News on Tondon, the news, news flash, we're hearing distressing news from England about a hamster who's devastating the city of Peterborough. Let's go live to our correspondent. Hi, I'm Reporter Collins and today we're here to talk to some Peterborough residents about this new pressing issue. Sir, what do you think about the new pet ban? Speechless. From this moment on, all pets shall be banned in the city of Peterborough. I will not expose Peterborians to the possibility of this on fugitive fish, crass, criminal chinchillas, or evil ephemeral eels any longer. Jolly well done, Meg. Jolly well done. Long overdue, I say. Everyone should do their duty and send off their pets. Yes, off they go. Das kann nicht wahr sein, das stimmt gar nicht. Das ist eine ekelhafte, beschissene Verschmutzung. Hey Dorothy, I've just driven past Pet Sit Own. They've taken off the PET from the site. It just says Sat Own. Guess what I'll be doing a lot of? Can't walk bloody dog. Ain't no one taking my bees, man. No one touching my bees. I'm going to try and find some hats, maybe a coat or a scarf. Something to hide all, all his excellent dogginess. I'll send you photos to see how we get on. It says here in the Peterborough that they have taken all the pets away from the people. Taken away the pets? Why? I don't know. They are crazy. It's all fou, no? Absolutely it's crazy. What? It's a Christmas. Don't be ridiculous. Mr. Christmas isn't. He's got his own yacht. Where is Peterborough? Je sais pas. How does that make you feel that you're no longer welcome in the city? I'm going to send my pack of homing ferrets to Shetland. And by the time they've swam and hitchhiked back to Peterborough, this whole nonsense will be over. Have you seen what's in papers? They say they're coming for our pets. They're coming for you, Algernon, but me no better. I know what they're really after, but they won't get it. I'm protected. They won't get their 5G in here. But Mr Fluffy, it's very important that you stay out of sight. They're going to take you away. I mean, where is it going to end? What about carpet right? There'll be car right. Well, that's just ridiculous, Dorothy. Can't drive a shag pile down the road. Pets are being banned. That means cats. We don't like cats, do we? Ha 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 ha! You're going to know it at Tiddles, no, you're a good dog. No, 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 I'm trying to know! Hey, baby, be careful. Listen, you, you mustn't talk at all. The wall rabbi is. No playing, okay? Unbelievable. How ludicrous. I'll tell you what, if Trump tries to do that here, there'll be an absolute uproar. <laughs> tell you what, the mayor has not thought this through. It's going to be chaos, Dorothy. Chaos. He's going to be oisted by his own pet. Ard. The mayor of Peterborough's only gone and banned pets. What a load of <laughs> That'll be the party phone. Well, it's right here on Google, Bron. Herbera Mayor bans all pets. All pets? What are we going to do, Sal? Leave it to me, Bron. I'll get me thinking cap on. Well, I tell you what, they're not going to do that here, matey. The barricades are up as from now, I'll tell you. Be careful. Stay safe. Protect yourselves.
gangster. If it's the last thing I do! Meanwhile... Oh, there you are. Have you been here this whole time? What? Billy's stuck in the well and he can't get out? Oh, then I have no idea what you're saying. But I am sensing it's something very important. There's only one person who can speak to hamsters in this city. I can speak hamster. Just one single person. I can speak hamster too. And I know just where to find them. Hello? Hello? To the pet shop! Kids these days, they're a load of squeak squeak. You're absolutely right there. A load of a squeak a squeak. Zip, click, zip, plonk, 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 do, click, click, click. Click, click, get Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, and halt! All right, you bunch of silly, nilly, good for nothing bags of breakfast cereal. We got a job to do, ain't we, soldiers? Sir, yes, sir! And there's no room for failure on this one, is there? Sir, no, sir! And how many pets are you? Silly sausages! Gonna bring back to me? Yeah, now get to it, you damn sandwiches! Boo! Soldier Stevens! I need you to build a wall around this city so high that no pets can get in. Capiche? Uh, can you be a bit more specific, General? You're being a bit general, General. There isn't time! Now move out! Sir! Yes, sir! I really need to be. Mmm, that is delicious, I can't even tell ya. Anyway, welcome back to Lorraine with me, Lorraine. I can't believe it, I. Now, I don't know about you, but my socials will not stop pinging with this pet band story coming out of Erbera. I can't believe it, I. And so, to singers, their new song is Pop Idol's Factors Got Talents on Ice's latest manufactured boy band with their new single, Got to Give Your Pets Away. I can't believe it! Aye! Take it away, boys! Our pets, they are cute with fur and scaled wings. And it's true we love them because of all the joy that they bring. We've got bad news, the mayor's got pet blues. And now we must give all our pets to collection. Say goodbye, it's time to let your pets go. Give your pets away. Gotta give 
jolly bad show. I say jolly bad show. They've taken Mr. Christmas. It's clearly been a mistake. Well, I bally well won't have it. Sit tight, Mr. Christmas. Smithers and I are coming to get you. As soon as he's finished polishing the silver. Darling. They'll, they'll never know you're a real dog. I'm not gonna let them take you. I'm not Jamie. I'm not. Oh dear. Oh, Mr. Fluffy. What's that you got? Uh, nothing. Food just came down into my stomach and just made you go. Pfft. Fight for animal rights today. Art? I didn't want my pet to be taken away. Great disguise, Grandma. What big teeth you have. Shut up. Tiddle Slash, who's in here? Uh, Mr. Fluffy, no. 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 Two women in it together? I think we've got a winner. Will you, Veronica Parker, join me, Sally Ann Dawson, to become a fellow twit? Meanwhile, at the pet shop. Hello? Anybody there? Oh, I don't like this place, hamster. Mom? Polly wants a burger! Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I, I don't have any... Polly? Once a cracker. Sebastian! Chilegs! Ben, no, eat the ear. He is in a foul mood since they uh, take all the animals away. Why wasn't he taken? I bit them on the bum! I bit them on the bum! He bits them on the bum. I know why you are here. You do? Yes. How many bags would you like? What? Are you not here for the three for one promotion on all branded cat litter products? No, my, my hamster's trying to tell me something and I need you to translate it. Ah, oui. I can show you the door, but you are the one. So we'd have to go through. I'm already inside. I can give you the supply. You are the one that would have to make it highs. I just want to know what my hamster's saying. The road to becoming a pet linguist is a long one. But I will train you. And by the end, you will not only understand your hamster, but all hamsters, all animals, including some selected plants. Sebastian! Get ready. It is time for a training montage. You get one in every film. A good old training montage. A montage of learning new skills. To start, Norma's not very good at it. She finds it all very hard. Sebastian, the parrot, says she should quit. And Norma starts to take it to heart But now with the help of Hamster Norma starts to get in a groove Cause this is the part of the montage When Norma starts to improve In the training montage This is the final bit Of the training montage When Norma finally shouts I've got it! It's the final montage Norma doing lots of cool stuff But that's the end of the montage Cause the bad guy has had Enough! 
Lizzie, Kevin. I bet you thought I'd never step foot in a place like this again. We, oui. especially after fluffy food. Don't say that name. You can't blame him forever. Shut up, old man. Only wants a cracker. Oh yeah. Well, how's this? Yeah. Hello, Norma. How do you know my name? Looks like we're both after the same thing. What happened to you, Leslie? Lots of things. Now hand over the girl. Over my dead body. <laughs> proceedings. What, Uncle Paul? In other news, the citizens of Erbera have started to rise up and they don't look very happy. I know how they feel, Janet. Not everything's about you, Martina. Mm. They came and took our pets, brothers. They came and took everything from us. They came and took Algernon. Well, it's time we said enough's enough. No more living in fear. No more protecting ourselves from the 5G. We need to go and we need to take it now to the streets. We're going to rise up against them. Who's with me? Come on, lads. Let's go. Let's go. Ron, I can barely see you. Where are you? Uh, in cognition. We really must send Barrington down to the town hall with a placard to make guttural noises of protest. Dear Prime Minister, I am Prime Minister. very, very. So it's time to bring out probably our secret weapon. They do what they call the alligator whispering. Let them swim down the river near to Peterborough. Bring back as many pets as he could, they could uh, to the safety of the park. Very, very angry. Soon found a replacement. We got you on a day out, didn't we? The placard? Uh, no, don't use a Van Gogh. I'd use the back of a Monet. More layers of paint. It's far sturdier. Smithers! At last! And I see you've readied your pistol. Jolly good. Been great, not having to worry about the food bills. 
let alone all the vet bills. And also, she doubles up as a great neck cushion. So yeah, I'm not really sure what people are bothered about with this protesting. Off we go! Right, let's make plans. <laughs> yeah, fast it, Ben. News at 10. See ya. <laughs> Bye. Janet, I'm just getting word in that news from nowhere is being broadcast internationally. In other news, the Mayor of Peterborough has today issued new fines and curfews, and we have reports of similar action taking place in towns across the UK, including Petersfield, Peterley, and Petworth. We're live across the planet, Janet. Very clever, Martina. Very clever. Get me the mayor of Peterborough. Now, let's try this again, little girl. Where is your hamster? Oh. Do you want me to get Richard out again? Because I'll do it. Oh, uh, Richard. So you know when you're uh, when you're being when you're being, when you're being interrogated, uh, and then uh, they normally they bring out this elaborate array of tools, don't they? And they you know, there's pliers on there. There's, there's, there's things you've never you've never seen before, and you think, oh, you must be quite qualified because I don't know what any of those things are. You think well, we're in for some fun. Had enough. And then they go, no, well, too bad. Oh, Richard, play us one of your comedy songs. <laughs> This is a song about being captive. Oh, what am I doing here? When am I going home? Where is he? You're a monster! Tell me! I don't know! Well, we'll find him. And his fluffy little friends. Then... Then... The whole of the UK will be a pet-free zone. What? Oh, oh that, that's supposed to be a secret. Uh, they're going to announce it later when the Prime Minister comes to meet the Mayor. What? Oh, oh crikey, Leslie, think before you speak. I nearly let it slip that eventually the Mayor wants to send all the pets to the moon. What? Oh! Hamster capture. This is a secret signal. I repeat. Hamster catcher, this is a secret signal. Over. That's the secret signal? The Prime Minister is nearly here. Richard, I'm sorry, but you've heard too much. Now, get in that oversized human hamster cage. You don't have to do this. You can choose to be on the side of good! I don't choose sides based on good or evil. I just choose the side that doesn't have any hamsters. What? Like, Fluffy Foot? Don't speak about what you don't know! I'm sure Fluffy Foot loved you! You don't even know that Fluffy Foot was a hamster! Ah, no, but he was, right? Of course he was! Now get in Feeling so low, my owner has gone away. I just need to go in my litter train. I'm a sourpuss, if you know what I mean. There's nothing for us 
missing out on the cream. I'm just kidding. Let us throw me away. Oh, hamster. I'm so sorry. I failed you. Don't give up hope, Norma! Hamster! You're here! Well, when life gives you pain, friendship gives you the remedy. Ain't that right, everybody? You better! Sure, Sam! Sloughball. How can you all be so cheerful at a time like this? The whole human race is ready to just forget about you. Not all humans. You're here! And you are full of love, and that gives us hope. You're right. And I've got my own little friend to help, right? You're right. <laughs> You're the only one who can help us now, Norma. Ever since I arrived in that shoebox two weeks ago, you've been everything to me. And yes, we have annoyed each other. And yes, I did eat your homework. And yes, I might have bit your friend on the bum. But we got through that, Norma. And we'll get through this together. Thanks, Hamster. And you're right. Now let's go set our new friends free. <laughs> Uh, normally, sure. Wait, what are we doing? We need to save the world. Okay, me and Hamster will go to the town hall. You lot stay here and deal with that hamster catcher. To go, Norma, you gotta go for it. To go, Norma, you gotta go for it.
Prime Minister! Mr. Man! <laughs> stop! What's going on? Just stop, please stop! The law you're about to sign, banning all pets from the UK! You mustn't sign it! You can't sign it! Actually, this handshake is to confirm that from now on, there will be complimentary biscuits at all council meetings and that said biscuits will always contain at least one packet of chocolate hobnobs. Oh, oh, very important business. However, little girl, your appearance is timely as this handshake... Yeah! Stop! The hobnobs, sir! The budget won't stretch! Too late, Sally! Oh. Now, where were we? Ah, yes. This handshake to cement the pet van bill. Oh. Oh. Mr. Mayor! She is the hamster's owner. What? Is this your hamster catcher? Yes, your prime minister. But I know you. You used to be head zookeeper at London Zoo. All right, it's true. And I loved it there. It was the best job in the world. World, world, world. Golly. Yeah. Just because you had one horrible experience with one horrible hamster doesn't mean we should ban all pets from the UK forever. Look, this is my hamster. And he's the bestest, most friendliest hamster in the whole world. Our pets, they're, they're more than just animals. They're family. They cheer us up when we're sad. And they, they bring us keys and release us from cages. And yes, sometimes they poo on the carpet. And yes, sometimes they ignore us for days. And yes, some people are horrendously allergic to them. But they love us. And we love them. He is a, a cute little fella. Mr. Mayor, Mr. Madam Prime Minister, she's right. Oh, Mr. Mayor, I think we nearly made a very bad decision here today. No, it can't be true. No human being can stop me now. He's in my left arm. He's in my right arm. He's in my T-shirt. He's in my trouser leg. He's in my shoe now. And let's shout out loud. Do the hamster shake. It's the hamster shake. You can't mistake. It's really great. It's the hamster to shake ba, ba, da, ba, da, ba, ba. Take him away, boys. I have to go. It's Prime Minister's question time. Thank you. Little girl.
for helping me to see the light. Norma, can you ever forgive me? Everyone makes mistakes. Is that a yes? Come on, hamster. Let's go home. hating mayor of Peterborough has now been put behind bars. Dong! Sally, assistant to the previous mayor, a noise assistant, has repaired the Peterborough sign, banishing Erbera from the map. Dong! A new pet shop is to open in Peterborough later this month. Dong! New junior mayor Norma Normalman has made PE, pet education, compulsory in all schools. Dong! And finally, Martina and I have decided to give this marriage another go. I love you, Janet. I love you too. Care to dance? Hit it! One, two, three, four! It's on my shoulders. <laughs> it's round my ankles. <laughs> it's on my fingers. <laughs> It's on my kneecaps. <laughs> it's in my ear now, so let's shout out loud and do the hamster shake. It's the hamster shake. You can't mistake. It's really great. It's the hamster shake. It's in my left arm. It's in my right arm. Is in my t-shirt Is in my trouser leg Is in my shoe now And let's shout out loud Do the hamster shake It's the hamster shake You can't mistake It's really great But it's the hamster shake and everything. It's the first success for the twins. Oh, what can we do next? I know. World peace. Shut up, Cotty. Go! 
Okay.